So in this integration question, we have e raised to the power x minus 1 plus x raised to the power e minus 1 in the numerator, while we have e raised to the power x plus x raised to the power e in the denominator. At first glance, it seems to be a straightforward question, but there is a little bit of trick involved in this question. So let us start by using integration by substitution. Put denominator equal to t, so denominator is e raised to the power x plus x raised to the power e is equal to t. Now differentiating both sides with respect to x. Derivative of e raised to the power x is e raised to the power x only and derivative of x raised to the power e is e x raised to the power e minus 1 dx is equal to dt. Now the denominator, this term in the bracket is similar to the numerator but it is not exactly same as the numerator. Second term, uh, x raised to the power e minus 1 is there, but e raised to the power x minus 1 is not there. Instead, we have e raised to the power x. So, what we can do, we can multiply this term and divide it by e. And second term is as it is, dx is equal to dt. Now, when same bases are there and terms are getting divided, their powers get subtracted. So, this becomes e raised to the power x minus 1 into e plus e into x raised to power e minus 1, dx is equal to dt. On taking e common out of this bracket, the term inside the bracket is same as numerator. So this is same as numerator. So e x minus 1 plus x e raised to power minus 1, dx is equal to 1 upon e dt, e is a constant. So our integral takes the form 1 upon e dt, divided by e raised to power x, sorry, e raised to power x plus x raised to power e is same as t, so dt divided by t and its integral is natural log mod t plus c and when we back substitute the value of t, we get e raised to power x plus x raised to power e, so 1 upon e natural log mod e raised to power x plus x raised to power e plus c which is our answer.